Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead reading. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Say hi, let us know you're here so we can welcome you properly. Um, for those of you coming back, welcome back. Thank you for your continued support. So these are timeless. Whenever you're drawn to watch the video, that's when you should watch it. There are other timeless weekly readings on the channel that you can also check out. You can watch your sun, your moon, your rising, and your venus signs for these readings. Um, I'm using the AE Weight Tarot deck. And what else? I'm running specials. I'm running like a fast turnaround special. Well, there's two options, so check those out as well. Everything's in the description box below. And my regular readings are still available also in the description box below. And what else? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you if you have. Um, I'll be doing uh, timestamps as I go. And I know this is just a little late. I've been dealing with a very hectic week and then some issues. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, in, in the flat basically. But my neighbor is great. He's sorting out the issue. But it's just caused some extra delays. Okay, so thank you all for your patience. All right, all that being said, let's just jump in here, see what we're dealing with in the week ahead, whenever that is for you. Let me put that deck aside. So let's begin with Aries. Hi, Aries, thank you for joining us. If you're skipping ahead, please be sure to also watch the intro because there's some information for you there. So what's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead? So in this situation, we have the Ten of Cups. The challenge is the Six of Cups. The outcome is the Three of Pentacles. So one scenario that I'm seeing very, very clearly is you're quite happy where you are in a particular connection, relationship, place of business, place of work, job, whatever. The challenge is something where someone from the past is trying to come back around, trying to come back in, and it puts you in a situation with the Three of Pentacles where hopefully you're not going into, <coughs> excuse me, into um, a third party situation. But I feel like it's really getting you to a point where, okay, I really need to think about this. Yeah, bottom of the deck, temperance card, so Sagittarius energy. Uh, just going back and forth, doing your, your pros, your cons, thinking about your options. Okay, because that's what I'm seeing for some of you already in another relationship or another commitment of sorts. We're reading energy and it will play out different for everyone. Um, and the challenge is something that you're already familiar with, someone you already know, they're trying to come back around. And again, it just puts you in this place of, I need to figure out what I'm going to do here, which one I'm gonna, am I going to go with, where am I going to build with this Three of Pentacles. For those of you, a different scenario that I'm seeing is... You're coming to the end of a contract or the end of a commitment. The challenge is you might have trouble releasing it or um, there's a choice between looking for something completely different or going back to something else that's familiar to you. And the outcome in this case, um, you're going to make the right decision anyway with the Three of Pentacles. But... Um, I feel like for most of you, that Three of Pentacles tells me that you're going to start something fresh, start something new. So not go back to something from the past because it's comfortable. You're going to start something new, even if it means taking a step back in terms of position, maybe even pay, because it's a really good opportunity that you're presented with, with that Three of Pentacles and you have support, guidance. There's a lot of training. There's a lot of studying, learning as you go, but there will be a very fast, uh, development that is available to you okay let's get more information here for aries so with the ten of cups in the situation we have the seven of pentacles with the six of cups we have the two of pentacles with the three of pentacles we have the six of pentacles and under temperance we have the moon so yeah you're very confused about a decision that you have to make because it has long-term implications i'm definitely seeing uh contemplating do I go back to the past do I go back to something I'm familiar with or make a different path for myself or accept this other opportunity that is presented to me 
for those of you i'm seeing this as well it is mercury retrograde so we are going to talk about the ex quite a bit i'm sure um someone you've been waiting for someone you used to be with and you've been waiting for them to come back you've been waiting for them to reach out you've been waiting for them to contact you and i'm seeing that happening but you're at a point where it's been so long during all this time of waiting you've kind of learned a lot or met different people or got yourself into different situations and now you have different options so now you're thinking well i really this was a really big wish for me you know to, to get back with this person or to hear back from this person but now that it's actually happening i'm not so sure that this is still what i want to do because you're looking at two choices one is the three of pentacles one is the six of pentacles right so what does that tell me it's telling me that the past whatever the past is offering is less than what the new path is offering you okay and there's a lot more work that needs to go into the past situation with the three of pentacles versus the new situation where you're on even keel even footing from the get-go it's fair from the get-go there's healthy give and take there's balance there's healthy boundaries there's mutual respect there's mutual feelings okay whereas with the past it always felt like you were doing more than the other person like you were expected to do more or you put a lot of pressure on yourself to just please this person and it was a, a bit of an unhealthy dynamic where you gave and they just took does that make sense and this is coming back around nothing's changed okay if that's the situation so take that for what it's worth um but you have your free will you're going to be the one making the decision for yourself and it's the same situation if it's if you're at the end of a contract or you're happy in a, in a particular job situation or work situation whatever um and you're hearing back from someone you already know someone you have already worked with or you're contemplating going back to an industry that you're very familiar with just because it's comfortable because you're familiar with it right but this is, tells you if you wait a little bit with the moon card energy and the temperance there right if you either wait a little bit some new opportunity is going to come along there's going to be a lot better for you or if you just kind of widen the net right keeping up mind in terms of what kind of job you want to go for what kind of industry you want to you want to uh go towards just entertain some possibilities basically with the moon and temperance and something really really good is going to come your way okay and it will be a fast situation right it'll be a case of you see it you apply for it you get a response right away you get an interview right away everything just flows why because that's where you're meant to be okay does that make sense um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do advice like Oracle cards, but I guess we're doing it. <laughs> so let's get a couple of cards for Aries. Oracle energy and advice for Aries for the week ahead. So bottom of the deck, we have squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, number 57. Yeah, so I feel like something's coming to a close or you're feeling very complacent um in a situation to the point where you're either afraid if something's coming to, to a close you're afraid you're not going to find something the same or better and so the tendency is to just fall back onto something that we already know and are comfortable with whether or not that's necessarily the best thing for us is not in question right we're just thinking it's comfortable i'm familiar with it it's better right just by doing that by by thinking of it in in those terms but that's not necessarily true same thing with going back to the same person same situation same type of person same type of dynamic right it's because it's familiar and therefore it makes us feel a little safe even though it may be absolute crap okay uh pardon my french and this is telling you to believe in yourself so either give yourself more time or give yourself more options entertain the possibilities just go for it believe in yourself enough to just go for something right and see what happens and you'll be very very pleasantly surprised spider spirit make your dreams real absolutely and rhino spirit overcome any obstacle yeah just power through make your dreams real and believe in yourself this is telling you remember your worth you you've been through so much you've grown so much why would you go back to something that you've already outgrown and listen everything you know it's up to you you make your own decisions you know what's best for yourself and you know where you are in your own process on your own path there's no judgment here but the message here is 
you've already outgrown the situation whether you're aware of this or not now if you need to go back to it once more to realize that you've outgrown it then that's absolutely fine that's on you as long as you know you're not putting yourself in any dangerous situations but this is telling you it took you a long time to get yourself out of someone's web okay of lies deceit manipulation what they did to you how they got inside your head um it took you a long time to to get out of that and you're going to be tested right you're going to be tested in terms of do you go back to that because you still haven't learned about your worth and they're still in your head and they're still dictating what you do and how you see yourself or are you going to take a step back and really like realistically assess who you are where you've been what you've been through and what you really really deserve okay it's not being selfish it's not being egotistical it's not having a big head it's just being realistic fair this is what I have to offer. This is what I should do, should this is what I should get in return. This is what I deserve to receive in return. And when you start to think of things in those terms, it will become very very clear. The fog will lift, confusion will lift. It will become very clear which option, which direction is the best one for you. Okay? Does that make sense? So I'm going to leave that with you Aries, and I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it helps. Okay? I'm looking forward to your thoughts and your feedback. So let's clear these up. And we're moving to Taurus. Hi Taurus, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. If you're skipping ahead, as always, please be sure to also watch the intro because there's information for you there that you might find useful. So what's going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in the week ahead. Taurus. Taurus in the week ahead. In this situation, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. As the challenge, we have the Two of Wands. And in the outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So Taurus, you're at a bit of a crossroad. Um a number of different scenarios what I'm seeing here you're contemplating you have a decision to make okay and it's a case of do I stay or do I go do I continue down this path that I'm already familiar with but I might have gotten everything I could out of it um, or do I just go for something brand new I feel like you've been contemplating this for quite some time because you're coming in as the hermit. You've already kind of withdrawn from the world to just make up your mind about what you want to do about the situation. It could involve a job, a person, a place to live, a, a way of being, right? Whatever it is for you. Now in the outcome, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles does talk about just beginning a new path, beginning something new that, you know, requires time, it requires effort, it, it requires work. But there's a steady growth to it there is a, a promise you know there's a potential when it comes to this okay so i don't know if you are contemplating changing your job or starting your own business because this is venturing off alone with the hermit or if it's about leaving a relationship that, that does not serve you has kept you stuck for some of you you could be detaching from a long-term connection or a long distance connection um, because it's it's too much work and you're not getting enough in return. Does that make sense? Um, and this is where you just focus on yourself and you start to work on yourself to rebuild yourself, right? So is that kind of uh, kind of an energy that I'm looking at here, Taurus? So let's get more clarity here for you. So with the hermit, we have temperance. Like I say, yeah, you've kind of gone, you've been going back and forth about should I stay or should I go because you wanted to go, but you weren't quite there yet um for a very long time with the hermit and temperance okay sagittarius energy might be significant as well with the two of wands as the challenge yeah look nine of swords you've been in your head about this for a very long time why because of the implications because of complications because of what are other people gonna say because of i don't know if i can do it on my own i don't know if i can make it on my own because whatever this is with these two majors here, whether it was or you perceived it to be, you perceived it to be as a very, very big change, okay? Like starting from scratch or starting over in a particular direction of your life. And the more you thought about it, 
the more you freaked out about it and it kept you stuck. It prevented you from actually doing something about it, from taking action, okay? Um, because of overthinking. With the Nine of Swords and the Hermit, there was overthinking. The Eight of Pentacles in the outcome, you have the Three of Pentacles. Definitely work developing yourself or developing something new under the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. So what you're leaving, you're leaving behind, and I do see you leaving something behind for some of you. And for others of you, I'm seeing you continuing there and you're trying to put a new spin on it. You're trying to have some negotiation with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles there in terms of I'm willing to still put in the work, but it has to be mutual. We have to do this together. I can't do it on my own, okay? So like I say, it'll be different for everyone. For some of you, you're leaving something behind because it's been too much of an investment, not enough return. And that could be financial, it could be emotional, it could be with anything else. Um, for others of you, this is a bit of an ultimatum energy. Not from a place of anger, it's from a place of just throwing your hands in the air and just saying, I can't do this anymore, right? And when you say that, when you open up like that, I feel like there's some negotiations that are happening with Temperance and the Six of Pentacles okay in terms of okay we either do this together or i'm gonna leave i can't keep doing this anymore right and for some of you i do see whoever whomever the the, the other party is i do see them kind of getting their behind into gear because they're realizing that oh my god it's serious taurus is serious taurus is gonna go taurus is gonna quit taurus is gonna walk away right because what i will say and you'll know your own scenario. But for those of you that this applies, you've been in your head and the other party had no clue that it was this bad for you. The other party had no clue that you were thinking about walking away. Okay, so when you finally open up because you're at your wit's end because you've overthought, you know, the ish out of the situation, to them, it's, they're, they're just hearing about it for the first time right and it's like oh my god i had no idea you felt that way i had no idea you were this unhappy talk to me what do you need what is not working what do you want to see different what do you want from me what do you need from me and it's literally just coming together and then learning how to work together okay but for those of you where it's a case of you're the only one doing everything including paying for everything you're the only one traveling, you're the only one paying, you're the only one, or just for the most of it, the, the like the, the bulk of it, right? Whatever it is. And it's just no investment. I feel like you're going to decide, you know what? I can do this, it's not fair. Um, and you're taking a step back. You're going from the eight to the seven and then to the six and then to the three, right? So you're taking a step back, you're putting your, resource, or your resources back, um, whether you're just kind of quietly withdrawing to the point where you can just disconnect naturally or you're saying something about it, it will be different for everyone, right? So, okay, we had a flyer. Taurus, energy and advice for Taurus for the week ahead. Okay, bottom of the deck. We have chameleon spirit, act as if. So number 14, so change. Yeah, you've been, this is like, you've been doing a lot of contemplation about this. You've been going back and forth and that's where the overthinking has come in, right? So you're going, okay, I know I wanna do this. And then you think about, okay, what do I need to do to make that a reality? And you're starting to, you've, you've started to think about absolutely every, everything, every single detail just on your part right why because you're used you're you've been the only one doing everything so you you didn't even include the other party's perspective or what they could do or say into the equation right um and it got to be such a big beast that in the end you'd say you know what no it's, it's too much it's too complicated i'm not going to do anything about it right and that cycle has kept repeating itself Fox, spirit, think on your feet, and this was your flower, number 27, adds up to a nine. It's time to complete something, okay? It's time to complete something. The hermit is also number nine. Think on your feet is telling you to be strategic, 
but also to it's not cunning is not necessarily the best word here but less emotional about things okay that's why you have all the pentacles i don't care what kind of situation it is the message here is okay think of things in terms of investment whether it's your time your energy your money emotional e all of the above are you getting what you're putting into it okay are you getting anything even close is this person or party even trying to work with you even trying to meet you in the middle because if you take a step back you take emotion out of it your answer will be clear okay what else do we have dove spirit be peace number 21 adds up to a three and this is like it's growth it's expansion your peace is somewhere else okay with that number three there your peace is where you're looking with that two of wands but what you're turning your back to I feel like you already know this okay you already know this you just needed that push or you just needed that final confirmation to say yes this isn't the place for me yes it's time to walk away from this yes it's time to let this go it's not fair it's not right I'm not getting what I deserve out of it one sec okay. sorry um, and either this reading is that confirmation or you're having a conversation with someone else it's when you come out of your own head it's when you actually talk about it to someone else that you either hear yourself and you know your answer you know when that happens or the other person can give you some feedback and you're like yeah actually I know what to do now all right um, so when in doubt talk about it but remember think of things in terms of investment and you'll know what the best decision is for you okay Taurus so I hope this helps you I'm looking forward to your feedback because it, it's a bit of a tricky situation but again you already know what you're doing I feel like you just need that final push that nudge that confirmation that it's time to either speak up give someone an ultimatum or just start withdrawing from a situation or flat out say you're done okay it will be a little different for everyone but the energy is quite similar all right let's move on to Gemini hey Gemini Thank you for joining us and happy birthday actually what's going on for gemini in the week ahead remember to also watch the intro gemini there's information for you there that you could use gemini summarizing venus signs in the week ahead in this situation the three of cups the challenge the ace of swords and the outcome we have the moon bottom of the deck the knight of pentacles so with the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck something could be moving very slowly i feel like uh, this feels like something is moving very slowly because whoever it is that you're dealing with or whoever else is involved they're not taking it as seriously as you are does that make sense you're like okay let's buckle down let's do the work they're like yeah there's time let's go out and have a drink let's go out and have some fun don't be too serious about it it'll be fine it'll work out but you're like but how can it work out there's no plan behind it there's no strategy we have no idea what we're doing how can it just work out right and that's why you have the ace of swords as the challenge it's been it's difficult for you to talk about this because i feel like you're either working with friends or you're working with family or you're working with a spouse and it's very confusing hence the moon it's difficult to separate the two types of relationship right business and and romantic business and family etc um and you've been biting your tongue quite a lot with that ace of swords and it's put you into in this place of confusion with the moon card tension a little bit of stress staying up at night because you don't know where something is going to go because everyone else involved doesn't seem to be taking it as seriously as they should be right and that's what i'm seeing let's get more clarity here for gemini so with the three of cups we have the three of pentacles with the ace of swords we have the knight of swords yeah now with the moon we have the page of pentacles under the knight of pentacles what do we have the four of wands so and this could even be you know where you're not on the same page or you're not seeing eye to eye with someone about your partnership your relationship your mutual goals your mutual plans it doesn't have to be 
you know that you're working with your spouse or but that's the kind of energy that i'm seeing does that make sense either you're moving at very different speeds because you have the three of cups and the three of pentacles one party's like let's get this done the other party's like there's time don't worry about it right it's like you're on the bottom here they're on the top so you're like, okay, let's get this done. Let's work together. Knight of Swords, you want to just push things through. You want to snap them out of it so that we can just get going, right? I don't have time for this. Like, let's let's get going. And Page of Pentacles is like, okay, well, let's figure it out. Let's talk about it. Get a plan together and just, just get going, right? Whether, um, whether, whereas for them, I feel like they're not quite sure what they want to do. You know what I mean? Um, they might not know how to communicate that properly. And when you look at them, you see them taking things kind of lightly or a bit shallow or they may seem a bit wishy-washy with the Three of Cups and the Moon. And this could be all down to do with commitment or buying a pl living together, moving in together, commitment, starting a family, getting married, um, starting a business together. some sort of a work goal, some sort of professional goal where you have to work with someone else to get there or you have to, it's a team effort type thing, okay? So the best thing to do here, I would say, Gemini, is to just be honest, to have that conversation and try to be sympathetic, try to, I know it's easier said than done when you just wanna get going with something and you've been biting your tongue about it already, but this is asking you to make this other person feel safe if it's a case of they're afraid to speak about how they really feel try to create like a safe space with the page of pentacles and the four of wands where you can talk about feelings and you can talk about insecurities so that you can come to common ground but work together to get there right with the three of pentacles and the three of cups does that make sense because you're two nights in the page it's like taking a step back this is not necessarily the time for action because there's more talking that needs to happen there's more conversation that needs to happen before you can come up with a plan of action does that make sense so i know you want to get going and i know you know what you want to do but whoever this other person is or this this other party or this person you have to take into account or they have to have their input whatever the situation is they're not where you are they're still confused um and a little afraid and may seem like they're trying to run away from the situation which to a degree they might be because they're afraid they don't know what to do um and they don't know how to tell you that because you might seem snippy or you they think if they talk to you about it you're gonna just go off on them it may cause a rupture it may cause a breakup it may cause conflict and they just don't want to do that but they don't know how to express themselves does that make sense so take a step back take a breath gemini take a step back start from the basics three of pentacles page of pentacles and just have an open honest try to be patient with this person type of conversation so that you can both feel heard um and you can work from there together to come to this actually getting to make a plan of action. Does that make sense? I hope I'm explaining it right. Because otherwise you're always gonna be pulling in different directions. You see how they're facing different directions and moving at different speeds too. So you're always gonna be on separate pages or two different books for that matter. Does, does that make sense, right? Because you haven't really talked about things to a point where both of you are in agreement and happy with what has been agreed. Does that make sense? So you think you have a common goal and you just wanna get going. They have no idea what's going on. So whenever you try to pull them, they're gonna pu push back or hold back because they'll feel like you're trying to force them into something because they haven't really had time to figure out what's going on. Does that make sense? And this could all be vice versa, but you take it as it makes sense to you, okay? So let's see, Oracle Energy and Advice for Gemini for the week ahead. Bottom of the deck, we have Eagle Spirit. Spirit has you back, number 23. So 
yeah i mean i feel like this is your energy where you're just very focused and you just want to get going right you just want to see stuff happen <laughs> make stuff happen dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion number 22 so happening in partnerships definitely whether they're romantic or business or friendships or otherwise and uh 30 grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith i feel like yeah you see how you have the different energies you have the eagle over here, which is your energy. And you're like, I, I have this bird's eye view. I know exactly what we're doing. I'm very focused. It's time to get going. And then you have this other energy where they're not saying things. Truth transcends illusion. They're not saying things. They're a little bit shaky, flighty. They're a little bit jittery. And they're, they're constantly feeling like they're just going on faith because they haven't sat down with themselves to figure out what they want to do. And at the same time, it's like they look at you and think, well, Gemini is, is, is sure of what we're doing, so I'm just going to trust them and just going to go with them. But the, it, it constantly feels like a take a leap, taking a leap of faith or just kind of being drugged, drugged along, dragged along, um, or moving at a pace that is not their pace. But it's a case of, well, Gemini seems to know what they're doing for, for the both of us, so I'll just, I'll just go with them, right? I'll just trust them and I'll just go with them. And then they come to a point where it's like they get all confused with the moon card because they don't know what they're doing anymore. Why? Because they're not going at the speed they're comfortable with or they're not working towards a goal that they particularly identify with, right? Because they haven't got there themselves. They, they might agree with what the ultimate goal is, but they haven't processed it for themselves. Does that make sense? So I'm going to leave that with you, Gemini. I hope it helps. Um, and it gives you a way of how to deal with this person to get the best out of them and to, for, to make sure that the both of you are on the same page and headed in the same direction and can both contribute and can both feel the sense of accomplishment every time you reach a milestone, right? Because it will be both of yours or both parties will be involved, not just the one that, that just pushes, pushes, pushes and the other one that just kind of goes along just on faith. Does that make sense? But then when success happens, they generally feel like it's their success. So they might feel a little seem a little ungrateful and, and so on and so forth. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm looking forward to your thoughts on that one because it was a bit of a all over the place type reading. But I think if anyone can follow that reasoning, you can, Gemini. Okay. So I'm going to leave that with you. then so we're gonna move on to cancer hi cancer how you doing thank you for joining us if you're skipping ahead please be sure to also watch the intro because there's some information for you there what's going on for cancer sun moon rising and venus signs and the week ahead cancer and the week ahead Okay, in the situation, we have the Queen of Swords. In the challenge, we have the Three of Swords. In the outcome, we have Strength. Okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Um, okay. What I'm seeing is... Someone feeling pushed. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> Cancer. Because um, I'm seeing the other side of what I just said for Gemini. Someone feeling pushed into a commitment. Okay, you're feeling pushed into a commitment. Um, is one scenario. And you're dealing with someone who seems my way or the highway. They're just full of ultimatums. Your challenge is that you care about this person, you love this person, you do want to be with this person, you do want to be in this partnership, whatever kind of partnership it is or dynamic, but you also want it to be fair, you also want to have a voice, you also want to be heard, right? And that's not happening because you're dealing with someone who's just closed off, not talking about it. It's either you do what they say or it's not happening. And in the outcome, you have the strength card and this is where you just, you're just going to have to hold your ground. It's not easy. And you're, you feel like you're kind of breaking your own heart here. But whatever this is has gone too far. 
has gone too far out of control to the point where you're just expected to go along with the program right and you try to talk about it and they're just dismissive to say the least and I see you taking a stand here and being like nope just just no and it leads to a standstill it leads to a locking of horns here a butting of heads uh, ultimatum type energy uh, some sort of an impasse of, of either no communication or it's a case of I'm not gonna budge they're thinking the same thing and so nothing's really happening nothing's really getting addressed or resolved let's get more information here for cancer so we have the queen of swords with the king of wands we have the three of swords with the death card yeah and the strength card with the knight of cups and under the hierophant we have the three of wands this could also be something dealing you're dealing with family right it could be a family dynamic but listen whatever this type of commitment is for you uh, whether it's a commitment to a job a person family a business whatever it's something that has been in place for a, a while or discussed promises made commitments made it's like this is your life right type of commitment you're quite ready to turn your back on it with the three wands okay you're ready to be done with this because it's not fair it's not fair Queen of Swords and the King of Wands I mean what was it what what's the phrase when uh, what's the phrase unstoppable force meeting an uh, uh, an object that can be moved and move what's the word <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> okay but that's literally what this is right it's like there's no there's no talking um, and this could be you and a parent you are in, and a sibling you and a spouse you and a partner you and a boss you and a peer okay um, communication is not great and it's actually quite forceful it's actually quite one-sided there's no negotiation and this has been the case for a good long while okay and every time you gave in and kind of went along with the program so you don't cause waves so you don't cause drama so you don't cause a scene it kind of broke your heart a little bit every single time you did that because you sacrificed bits of yourself every single time okay and your challenge is that you're at this point where it's like I don't want to have to do this but I'm ready to be done with it I don't I have no more energy to keep arguing I have no more energy to keep you know trying to get you to, to respect me trying to get you to listen trying to get you to appreciate me to see my side of things I have no more energy I'm done I feel like you have your sights on something else or someone else already with the three of wands because you're leaving this situation thinking of making an offer somewhere else you're taking your cup you're saying you know what if you don't know what to do with this if you don't know how to appreciate me and treat me the way I deserve I'm gonna take my cup so I'm gonna take my heart or I'm gonna take everything that I have put into this all the resources I have everything I have to offer I'm gonna take all that back what's left of it and I'm gonna go someplace else and that'll be that okay because with the three of wands here then look the full you already have your sights on something else or someone else you already have an idea of what you want to do of where you want to go when you're done with this now with the fool and the death card what I will say is whatever this is that's coming to an end it's meant to it's meant to it took you a long time to get here and it was part of your lessons to learn in terms of self-worth and boundaries you got here though I also see this person trying to make an offer to you to keep you where you are or to get you to come back once they realize that you mean it 
um but it's not happening and this could be going on at work where again there's no negotiation you're not given a choice you're not given an opinion you're not th there's just nothing it's like do what you're told and it's been going on for a while okay um and you're at the point where you're like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I really like this job. I really like the team. I really like the company. I like the role, whatever it is. But this is not right. And I'm going to take a stand about it. And you could be, either you're starting to apply for other jobs right now, or you're making it known that you're looking elsewhere, or you've already found something else that you want to go towards, and this is you just, this is where you start that process. You're handing in your notice and you're just preparing your exit right and you might be dealing with like a big corporation or anything to do with education uh government institutions something where there's a lot of red tape there's a lot of bureaucracy there's a lot of outdated culture type thing right where you just have to do what you're told because i'm the manager i'm telling you what to do is that kind of a culture which doesn't really work but it works for some not so much for others and you just have to find what works for you okay and you also have to make sure that you put yourself in situations where you are seen valued appreciated and not just taken for granted and expected to just go along with what you're told to do never question it never have an opinion never have your feelings considered so whatever this is that's wrapping up i feel like you're done and whether they make you an offer to stay or, or come back or not, I feel like you've already made up your mind about this with the strength card and the fool, and you're turning your back and you're headed towards something else that is, you've already, you already know what you want to do. You already know where you want to go, or you already have your sights on something or someone else. Okay. So let's see. Overall energy and advice for cancer in the week ahead. Koi fish spirit, there's always enough. Number 36, that's up to a nine. So it's time to just wrap something up. Uh, Pisces might be significant, but this is where there's always enough tells you, again, it, you're, you've learned about your self-worth. And you have been in this situation because you were settling, okay, for a lot of you. You told yourself, no, this is okay, this is acceptable, I can do this, it's no big deal, or it's just a phase, or it's just this one time. And before you know it, it snowballed and it was the new normal that you could not fight right elephant spirit learn from the past number 25 yeah there's been a lot of lessons that you've learned that have built you up okay you've learned about your self-worth you have learned about your strength you've learned about what you deserve your boundaries and how to assert them you've been through a lot coyote spirit trust and divine detours absolutely Whatever this path was that you were on, it was a detour meant to teach you some lessons so that you can then take a chance on what your true path is and feel completely free, happy, and hopeful to do so, right? You had to get to the point where you were completely done with something, knowing the reasons why and feeling strong in that belief and that confidence in yourself to freely and be hopeful and excited even to just go for what it is that you truly wanted right because if whatever this is hadn't happened and you hadn't reached this point of i've had it i've had enough i've learned so much i have so much clarity about this and that and the other i really know what i deserve now i truly know what i want to do and i'm just going to go for it i don't care what happens right because I've, I've been through enough i i deserve to give myself this shot or everything i've been through here has taught me what i don't want what i don't deserve what i'm not going to put up with anymore and that has also put into focus what i do want and that's what i'm going to go for right is that kind of energy that's that's kind of where you are and that's the whole point of whatever this is for you right to get you to that uh point where you can just go for it just take a chance on what you really want all right so i hope this helps cancer i'm going to leave it with you and I look forward to your thoughts. Tell me what you're dealing with, but I hope the reading helps you. Okay, and we're going to move to Leo. Hey, Leo. How you doing? Thank you for joining us. 
And if you're skipping ahead, please make, sh make sure <laughs> to watch the intro as well because there's information for you there that's going to be useful for you. What's going on for Leo, Sun, and Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead? In the situation, we have the Six of Swords. In the challenge, we have the Ace of Cups. In the outcome, we have the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Three of Pentacles. So, Leo, you're trying to... This, what, what this looks like for me is someone trying to come back, someone trying to get you back, someone trying to get you to stay. And it could be in a romantic dynamic, but it could also be to do with work or a relationship with family or friends, whatever this is. Because your situation is the six of swords with the three of pentacles under the deck, you're ready to walk away from something, okay? You're ready to walk away. You're done with something. There's been too much conflict. There's, much, there's been too much drama. There's been too much instability. The challenge, Ace of Cups, is someone is going to now be pouring their heart out. And it's a case of, well, can I trust it? And with the King of Wands, I do feel like you're going to be entertaining it. And we're going to get more clarity to see what you're actually going to do about it. If it's a work dynamic what they're offering you is more than what you had so there will be some sort of promotion elevation or more money and so you are contemplating it from a position of if i'm going to come back you better make it worth my time from if, if i'm going to you know withdraw my notice you better make it worth my time and i do feel like that's what they're trying to do and if it's in a romantic dynamic it's complicated it depends where you're coming from because i feel like it took you a long time and, and you've been through a lot to get to the point where you just wanted to leave. So even though they're pouring their heart out now, you're thinking, well, I don't know if I can trust it or if this is what I had to do and, and what I had to go through to get you to do what you were supposed to do in the first place. I don't, I'm not sure I want this. No, thank you. Let's get more clarity here for Leo. So with the Six of Swords, yeah, the Hierophant. With the Ace of Cups, we have the Hermit. Mm -hmm. And with the King of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups. Under the Three of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, it'll be different for everyone whether or not you take them up on their offer. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry. It'll be different for everyone whether or not you take them up on their offer. But the bottom line is you're leaving behind a, a commitment a relationship, a marriage even, uh, a job you've been in for forever, a, a company, corporation you've been in for forever, or a family dynamic, okay? Why? Because it is controlling, it is restrictive, it is, there's a lot of expectation, there's a lot of outdated beliefs, there's a lot of um, disrespect or just being overlooked or taken for granted. Challenge, yeah, well, with the Hermit and the Ace of Cups, you're disconnecting, you're done. And here they are, pouring their heart out. We have Virgo energy, we also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, Taurus as well. And you've already turned your back on this. You're like, I already, I don't care what you're offering me. I, I genuinely don't care. You can offer me the world. I don't I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. I don't want it from you. Sorry. This could also be someone apologizing. And it's very heartfelt with the Ace of Cups. But with the Hermit, you're like, I don't, I'm not ready to talk about this yet. No, thank you. Because it was very painful for you to get to this point where you just, you just had to dis disconnect no matter what. In the outcome, you have the King of Wands with the Queen of Cups. So again... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, someone just going very emotional, whether they're a water sign or not. They're just very emotional. We have that Ace of Cups again offered. Um, but again, you have your back to it because, no, you're like, it took, no, no. You brought me to my breaking point. So I don't care that you're finally apologizing. I don't care that you're finally opening up. I don't care that you're finally committing. I don't care that you're finally choosing me. I don't care anymore. I have no more emotion for this. Right? Page of Cups is also that apology, that offering. And it is genuine, don't get me wrong, but it's like 
No. It's like too little, too late. Okay, if it's in an emotional situation, if it's to do with a relationship or a relationship with family or a romantic relationship or anything like that, um, or this could also be an ex trying to come back and throw everything at you but the kitchen sink, right? Trying to get you to forgive them and give them a second chance, whatever. I'm seeing you turning your back. I'm seeing you, there's no emotion that you have left here. They put you through too much. If it's in a work situation, anything to do with business, work, your finances, anything like that, a business partnership, I am seeing you walk away, threaten to walk away, hand in your notice, give someone an ultimatum. When they see that you mean it, they will make you an offer. It will be more than what you have, more than what you're on with the Ace of Cups. You will entertain it. And I see negotiation happening with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Okay? Negotiation. Rediscussing terms. Re-agreeing terms. Putting them down on paper. And you might consider going back, but you're not going back to the same things. Does that make sense? You're you're going back to the same company, but it's in a different role or it's different pay or it's different responsibilities. Does that make sense? I also see some of you having a very big argument with family over your choice in a romantic partner. They have an opinion about it. They think it should be the end opinion, right? The, the final say. And you're trying to explain that, you know, they make you very happy and it's your life and they should be happy for you. They're not having it. So I'm seeing some sort of a break there. You're turning your back on family when they see, and this could have already happened, but when they see that you actually mean it, also when they see that you're genuinely happy with this person, they're going to try to work with you they're going to try to reinitiate conversation i do feel like it's genuine and then there's a sit down here of just trying to be honest and trying to rebuild oracle energy and advice for leo bottom of the deck badger spirit be fearless and bold number four yeah absolutely you took a stand for something Leo, you took a stand for what you believed, what you deserved. You've had enough of something, and you just took a stand, and that's it. Rhino spirit, absolutely, overcome any obstacle, number 50. You're like, I don't care. I do not care. I know what's right. This isn't right, so I'm out. There's no in-between. There's no more gray area. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. And you just pushed your way out of this situation. And again, we have that element of stubbornness because you know you're right. That's what it is. Fox Spirit, number 27, adds up to a nine. Think on your feet. Absolutely. You had to put yourself first. You had to be um, a little selfish, not in a, an unhealthy way, right? But to just put yourself first and to really be a little cold right put emotion aside and just be do the math do the numbers right even if it's a, an emotional dynamic or a, or a situation with family or whatever what am i putting into this i'm always there i'm always listening i'm always trying i'm always making the effort what are they doing mm, not so much well that's not a really fair type of transaction is it Right, so you had to think of things in those terms. Be a little cutting. And that kind of approach, that behavior, that stand you took is now bringing this opportunity to you, this offer to you, and it's down to you to decide what you want to do with it. Okay? Whatever's coming in, whatever's being offered to you, again, and again, it'll be different depending on the scenario you're in, but the, the message is the same. Look at it in the same terms. Is it what I deserve? right? Is it just talk? Because I deserve to see some action. Does that make sense? So go get, get on that, get on that horse, Leo, be all high and mighty because you deserve to be. You've been through a lot. This person, these people have put you through a lot. So if they want to come back, 
then they need to be humble, they need to be honest, they need to be vulnerable, and they need to be prepared to do some work. And you're not being selfish and egotistical by having that approach. Does that make sense? So I will leave that with you. Let me know what this is about for you, but I hope the reading helps you, okay? So. Moving on to Virgo. Hey Virgo, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. And if you're skipping ahead, please be sure to watch the intro because there's information for you there as well. What's going on for Virgo? Summarizing Venus signs in the week ahead. Virgo in the week ahead. In the situation, we have the Ace of Wands. The challenge is the Three of Swords. The outcome is the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups. There's a... Um, See, in this context, because usually the Ace of Wands, you look at the Ace of Wands and you, you start talking about, oh, it's a new opportunity, it's new potential, new job, a new passion or whatever. And it still can be that. But what I'm seeing in the context of this Three of Swords and Five of Cups is a big blow up with the Ace of Wands. Anger getting the best of someone, and it could be you because you've had enough. Because um, you also have the Three of Swords as your challenge. You've been biting your tongue. You've been taking one for the team. You've been keeping quiet, just going with the program, don't cause waves, just fine. Let's keep the peace and let's just keep going. However, you're dealing with someone who has pushed you to the brink. And you have the Queen of Cups in the outcome. Now, the Queen of Cups can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces individual. Now, this could be the person that you have the blow, blow up with uh, or because of. There's also a situation because you have the Three of Swords. And the three of cups here so i don't know if it's a case of too many cooks in the kitchen or someone butting into your life and the choices that you're making and they have no right to do so and you might be putting them in your in their place um but the queen of cups can also talk about healing and nurturing so i don't know if you have this big bust up and as a result of you finally speaking up, you get someone to realize that they're about to lose you or you get someone to realize that you mean it and then they put down their ego and they're like, okay, let's let's talk about things. Or they get you get an apology. And maybe this isn't something that this person does. Let's get more information because it could be a lot of different things. So what is this for Virgo in the week ahead? We have the Ace of Wands with the Five of Wands, yeah. The Three of Swords with the King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. And the Queen of Cups with the Empress. Under the Five of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some sort of change that is happening with the Wheel of Fortune. Something very unexpected. The Eight of Cups. It might lead to a breakup, Virgo. Or it might lead to someone not being able to spend as much time with you. Someone detaching. There's a change that is happening, and it can't, you can't go back. Something is really changing. It could result in someone moving, moving out, moving away, or just detaching from a situation. There's Here's the tension that has been building up with the five of wands. Too many cooks in the kitchen, definitely. Too many different opinions. And it has built up and built up and built up to the point where you're letting someone know what's what and it could be another person or a group of people because someone is too controlling they're butting in king of pentacles three of swords this is you holding your tongue keeping the peace trying to stay mature about it trying to stay you know be the bigger person all the while it's just been breaking your heart dealing with this childish individual or these childish people and it could be family, don't get me wrong, it doesn't have to be. And in the outcome, we have the Queen of Cups with the Empress. There's a choice that's at the root of everything.
there's a choice that is at the root of everything. You're making a choice. You're making a commitment. And everyone seems to have an opinion about it, but they don't, they have no place to have an opinion. You might be telling them exactly that. Or, again, too many people having different opinions clarifies to you what the choice is and it gets you to a point where you're saying you know what enough is enough this is what's happening you don't get an opinion you don't get a say this is what's happening i don't care you're either on board or there's the door and someone's just exiting a situation it could be you or it could be someone else right as a result of you taking a stand But whoever it is, because I feel like either you're choosing a romantic partner that your family has a problem with, or you're choosing a romantic partner that someone close to you, if it's not family, they have a problem with, they have an issue with that, they have opinions about it. Because you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place with that three of swords and you've been there for a while trying to please everyone. If this is a situation going on at work, you know, it's the same thing. It's like trying to please everyone. But you're keeping yourself stuck as a result and this is you saying you know what enough is enough i have to put myself first i have to focus on myself and then you see growth expansion changing job changing career potentially starting your own business potentially with the empress there so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mixed bag here for you virgo And if it's a case of someone else making a decision, right, you've applied for something or you've been competing for something or not even competing, but you're offered something, you're selected out of a group of people and you're offered something and everyone else has an opinion about it. This is you saying, you know what, I'm sorry that this is how you feel about it. However, it's a fair decision. I do deserve this. I have worked very hard for this. I haven't done anything wrong. And so you're walking away from one group of people, one person, one group of people going towards this other person or, or group of people or team or whatever that's a lot more supportive and there's a lot of growth there for you. Either way, there's a change in status that I'm looking at, Virgo. There's a, there's a change in status. You're happy about it. The only the only pause, the only thing that gives you pause is because you're trying to please everyone else and everyone else seems to have a very childish opinion about it. But that gets you to kind of step up and be like, you know what? This is happening. You don't get a say. You don't get an opinion. You're either with the program or there's the door. Okay. So you're gonna have to tell me what this is, Virgo, because it's a little bit of a bit of everything. So let's see, Oracle Energy and Advice for Virgo. In the week ahead. Bottom of the deck. Elephant Spirit, learn from the past. Number 25. Yeah, you're 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 changing your approach, you're changing how you do things. Um you're making different choices. You might be putting yourself first for a change, and everyone has an opinion about it, but the people that have an opinion about it and have a problem with you putting your happiness first for a change are people who just take advantage of you anyway. So they have a problem because if you put your happiness first, that means you take away from their happiness because you're supposed to make them happy because you live for them, not yourself. Does that make sense? And that's the childish person or the childish people that we're seeing here, okay? Lizard spirit, dream the world into being, number 38. Number 60, swan spirit, time for a deep dive. So you're getting some sort of a wish come true here, Virgo, and it could involve another person or it could involve a, an opportunity of any sort. Something that you've dreamed about, wished for, and truly deserve. But I feel like there's this either this one person or this group of people that are just petty and childish, and it's people that you've been trying to please for forever, and they have a problem with you taking time away from them and stop trying you stop into you no longer wanting to just put them first and make them happy 
and actually do something for yourself for a change, right? And so it disappoints you that this is their approach and that they can't, you know, be happy for you and you see how childish they are. It disappoints you, it kind of breaks your heart. But at the same time, you acknowledge that, you know what, this has to change. Okay, so I deserve to put myself first. I deserve to make the choices that I want to make. I deserve to make the investments I want to make. I deserve to focus on what I want to focus. So that's what I'm looking at here. And there's this change in status. There could be a change in job that happens as a result. It could be a change in residence that happen as, happens as a result. It could be a change in status because you're choosing who you're choosing despite what everyone else thinks. But that's where your happiness is. That's where your heart is. And if they can see it, awesome. Come on board. If they cannot, there's the door. You're no longer going to people please. And this is a great week for that. Okay. So Virgo, I'm looking forward to your thoughts. You tell me what this is for you and let me know what's going on. But I really hope this reading helps you. Because I feel like you've been trying... You were hoping that everyone else would be on board and support you because you know that what's happening for you is well deserved. And when you see people being childish and petty, it does disappoint you. But at the same time, it's a case of, you know what, I'm just not even going to deal with you anymore. I deserve this. I'm going to go with this, embracing it. And there's, a, there's just abundance that is coming into your life as a result of that. So good for you. All right, let's give him a good shuffle. Okay. And we're going to move on to Libra. Hey Libra, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. And as always, if you're skipping ahead, please be sure to also, there you are, watch the intro because there's information for you there. So let's see what's going on for, oh, righty then. Oh righty then, Libra. What? King of Wands, Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. New job, new home, promotion. What's going on for Libra in the week ahead? Libra Sun, Moon, right. Rising, and Venus. In the situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles. In the challenge, we have the World. In the outcome, we have the Fool. Well, bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords. Um. There's um, someone's walking away from a commitment, a relationship, a friendship, a job, a way of making money altogether. There's the three swords is here to say that you haven't been happy for a while in your dynamic, in your current dynamic. And you've known for a while that it's time to wrap it up. It's time to go. But you've kind of been fighting yourself on it with that Three of Swords. I'm going to give him more time. I'm going to give him one more chance. I'm going to give this more time. Maybe things get better. Maybe they will value me. Maybe they will appreciate me. However, these are all like single energies here, right? So you're either walking away from a relationship, breakup, because they didn't value you. They didn't appreciate you. Your challenge... It's not that big of a challenge because with the world card, you're confident. As soon as you walk out that door, you instantly feel like a weight has been lifted. You feel happy. You feel hopeful. You feel excited. You feel like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever done, right? It's actually getting to walk through the door. That's the difficult part, the challenging part, the part that breaks your heart because you don't know what's going to happen. But as soon as you make that decision and you walk out that door, you're like, oh yeah, this is, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. This feels right. But again, it comes with some self-doubt. And maybe you've been in this situation for a long time. And now you're like, well, I don't know who I am right now. I'm going to need a minute to figure out who I am without this person. Who I am away from this situation. Who I am on my own. What I want to do. I'm going to set up my business. I need some time to figure out how I'm going to do that. But in the outcome, you have the fool just taking a leap of faith. It's a brand new day. You're happy or hopeful. This is exactly what you feel like when you walk out that door. That's the feeling I was describing. Weight is lifted. You're excited. Only good things to come. Let's get more information here for Libra. With the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, look. 
We have the Ten of Cups. With the World, we have the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. And with the Fool, we have the Three of Pentacles. Under the Three of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands. For some of you, someone might, yeah, look in the Eight of Cups under that. Someone might have put you in a third party situation and it was, it was revealed. It came to light and you had no choice with that Three of Swords. It feels like I have no choice. This isn't right. I'm not going to stand for this. And you walked away from a long-term commitment and you're now single. Your challenge is continuing to wrap up this cycle and redefine who you are and restart your life on your own bigger better brighter versus just going back to the past because they will try to get you back and that's your challenge to just close that door and in the outcome we have the fool with the three of pentacles and i feel like for some of you this is where you're relying on your friends or co-workers, people you're close to, and they're building you up, they're supporting you, they're encouraging you to continue to walk on this path, right? To not turn back. And for those of you where this is, you left a job that you were in for forever, the people you work with were like family. Something happened where either you got passed for a promotion you didn't get a new beginning, you didn't get the promotion, you didn't get the new job, you didn't get the raise, or you were actually made redundant. Because there is some money that you have as you walk away from that, so there's some sort of a sever severance pay. Or this just means you've saved enough to where you're okay for a while to find something else, right? something happened where it was the final straw it was not fair so you're walking away from it you're looking for another job or you're setting up your own business for a change or again this is you being single and relying on friends relying on family learning who you are now and having fun with it that's literally what this is so good for you Libra do not turn around do not even give this person or these people a second glance shut that door lock it and throw away the key because it's a blessing trust me if you whether you see it or not right now it's a blessing it's the best thing that could have ever happened to you you leaving that situation is the best thing that could ever happen to you trust me take my word for it Whatever the situation was, it had gone as far as it possibly could. That's what the Eight of Cups is telling you. No matter how much work you put into it, no matter how much time you gave it, no matter how much more you would have done, it never, it, it reached its peak, okay? It, it wouldn't have gone beyond whatever the point was where you left. It wouldn't have gone beyond that point. You're not losing anything. You're not missing out on anything. If anything, you're saving yourself a lot of time, energy, and trouble and heartache. That's why the world is there. And I feel like you know that. Oracle energy and advice for Libra. Bottom of the deck, frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Number 28, as a 2 of 10 completion. It's time for a fresh start. World fool. I cannot make this up. Clear out the clutter. What you're leaving behind is not the end all. What you're leaving behind is just clutter. It's something that has kept you stuck. You've learned everything that you were supposed to learn from that. You've gotten everything you were you could have gotten out of it. And for the longest time, it was just clutter in your life. It was something holding you back. Okay. Moth spirit surrender now. I mean, you can't make this up. You, you cannot make this up. It's time to go. It's time to release whatever this is. And it's not something that completely breaks you down. It doesn't break you apart. It's the Three of Swords. It, it hurts. Yeah. It's disappointing to say the least. It makes you sad a little bit. You might cry a little bit. But it's not like the Ten of Swords where it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm starting from absolute scratch. You're in a good position to start over. Okay? And it's just time to just kind of go with the energy. Go where it's trying to take you because it's trying to take you to something that's a lot better for you. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic, number 66. Trust in the magic, man. Trust the signs, trust the symbols, trust your dreams. 
You have been shown that it's time to go for a very long time. You have been shown a better way. You have been shown just something else, right? That was your indication of that's where you're supposed to go. That's what you're headed towards. It'll all work out. That's where you're going to end up. You don't have to worry. Just trust it, okay? So Libra, I hope this helps you. You're going to have to tell me what it's about for you. But like, look, even with the frog, it's hold holding a pearl, right? So where you're headed is, is beauty, royalty, abundance, love, something that's very, very precious and something that treats you as the precious person that you are. Does that make sense? I feel like you've just been given your freedom back, whether it feels like it or not in the moment, you've just been given your freedom and it's, it's time to have fun with it. It's time to make the most of it. Okay. Take a chance. All right. Let's move on to Scorpio. Hi Scorpio. How you doing? Thank you for joining us. And if you're skipping ahead, always watch the intro because there's information for you there. Anything on specials I'm running, anything on the decks I'm using, all that is in the intro. So check that out. Let's look at what the week ahead is about for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, Scorpio in the week ahead. So the situation, the Knight of Cups. The challenge, the seven of cups, the outcome, the king of swords. Yeah, this is someone trying to come back around for some of you. And for others, this is someone making an offer to you. But you you know you can't trust this person. Yeah, look, the justice card. For some of you, this is someone trying to come back. Absolutely. There was a breakup or you, you worked with this person or these people before. And you, you there was a severance there. There was a sever severing of ties. Um, or this is, again, just, just a breakup. Uh, that happened this person's trying to come back very charming saying everything they know you want to hear your challenge with the seven of cups you already know you can't trust this person they have not changed you already know what you want to do about them and in the outcome you're standing strong with the king of swords you're not letting your emotions get the best of you you're not entertaining whatever promises they're making you're either saying put it in writing i want to see a contract I'm not just going to take your word for it that you're going to promote me or you're going to give me that raise because I threatened to leave. Put it in writing and we'll talk. Or you're being very, very blunt and very um, rational, kind of cutting, but fair, don't get me wrong, okay, in saying hell no to this person. Or saying, you know what, these are my terms. I see some action on this and this and this, we'll talk. Otherwise, there's the door. Don't let it hit you on the way out, okay? Very, very nice. I'm, I'm loving this energy. Let's get more information for Scorpio. The Knight of Cups, we have the Tower. With the Seven of Cups, we have the Five of Wands. And with the King of Swords, we have the Lovers. Under Justice, we have the Star. There's, you have choices. And the Temperance, you have choices. Scorpio. Now this could be a case of the ex trying to come back because it's Mercury retrograde. Blast from the past. Knight of Cups and the Tower. Blast from the past. It could be a case of someone being jealous that you're doing well or someone being jealous that you're with someone else and they're trying to come in and stir the pot and cause some drama. This could also be gossip. This could be people trying to get inside your head or this person trying to get inside your head, again, to stir the pot because they don't like that you're doing so well or they don't like that you're already in a different commitment. We have the energy of Gemini here. We have the energy of Libra and Aquarius. Definitely air sign energy. That could be if you have air in your chart or it could be the person you're dealing with or the person trying to cause drama. Um, I feel like you're defending a commitment that you've made or that you're making. You're defending a choice that you've already made because you know it's the right thing to do. You know it's what you deserve. 
and I feel like you're not entertaining any promises or any gossip but whoever this is they will try they will try to destabilize this very solid commitment that you're in okay and this could be people around you this could be I'm sorry to say family you know that they're they're getting too involved in your business and they're trying to put things in your head you might have an unconventional type of relationship however that makes sense they're just different than what they expected for you that's unconventional to them right and they might try to put things in your head they're supposed to do this for you they're supposed to do that if they don't do this they're not a good spouse and whatnot and that's not true for the two of you do you know what i mean And so I'm seeing you putting some people in, in the corner, putting some people in their place. Whatever offer comes to you as a result of a shakeup, get it in writing. Get it in writing, okay? Because I'm seeing someone making all these promises to you they'll do better they'll, they'll change they will promote you they will give you that raise they will give you that job as soon as it opens up but it's only so that you you stay why because you have a, a different offer on the table right and it's exactly what you deserve it's a dream come true they see you're going to take it or you're telling them that you're taking it and then they're trying to Again, throw everything at you but the kitchen sink to get you to stay. But it's all promises. It's empty promises. They have no intention of fulfilling these promises from the get-go. It's not like they mean it but they can't. No, they have no intention. They're literally, there's nothing. This offer is founded, is based on nothing. Okay? And I feel like you already know this. So let's see. Oracle Energy and Advice. Okay, sorry. Hold on. Cards flew. I don't know where they went. I don't want to run them over. Okay, I think it's the one that flew. What flew? White Raven Spirit. Trust in the magic. Number 66. Groundhog Spirit. Time to let go. Absolutely. And you know this. You know this. Spider Spirit. Make your dreams real. A dream come true for you, Scorpio. Charlie's here. What'd you tell mama? Um, and either people are jealous, but you know what? That's not your problem. Uh, it's time to let go of these people. It's time to let go of this place. Time to let go of this job. You've been dealing with a lot of empty promises. You've been dealing with a lot of instability, shaky ground, a spider's web, hence the tower. And when the tower fell, so something was revealed or you got a better offer and you realized that where you were at is not good for you or they're never going to someone made it's a case of someone told you that that's what the process was and you believed it right but it was an excuse and something else is offered to you and you're saying but i thought the process is this and that and the other and they're saying no that's not the case and they're sending you a document or they're sending you a link to what the process actually is something like that right and that just opens your eyes and it's like oh okay no thank you i am done and there is no turning back okay because you see that whoever this was was deliberately lying to you was deliberately leading you on and you have this other opportunity or the opportunity to just get out of that situation and you're taking it and you're defending your position right or even taking someone to court that is also a situation here that i'm seeing and you should to put something right to get what you deserve Okay. Someone got you to do something under false pretenses. Someone got you to stay in a situation under false pretenses. They, they, they gave you some sort of a story, some sort of a lie that explained the fact that their hands were tied in a situation or another. Something along those lines. Does that make sense? And there's clarity that comes. There's a better opportunity that comes. And... You can either cut ties with these people, you're taking them to court, or 
something along those lines okay but there's no uh doubt in your head nor should there be that you're doing the right thing you're defending your position and justice will be yours and i'm loving it for you scorpio okay let's move on to sagittarius hi sagittarius how you doing Please be sure to also watch the intro if you're skipping ahead because there's always information that is valuable for you in the intro. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, we saw you. Sagittarius in the week ahead. What's going on for Sagittarius in the week ahead? The situation, we have the Hierophant. The challenge, we have the Nine of Swords. The outcome, we have the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. Is the overall energy. There's some sort of a win. There's some sort of a legal win or a, a victory in terms of getting a contract, getting a job, getting justice in a situation. So for some of you, I feel like you have... Um, you're trying to get into a big corporation or you're trying to climb the ladder so you might have interviewed for something or applied for something, but it's like, I feel like what you're doing is not exactly what the process is, or you're the underdog, something along those lines, because you're tempted to just withdraw. You're tempted to just turn your back and walk away because you're, you're so much in your head, right? Because you're thinking about what everyone else is telling you. You know, that's not how you do things. You were supposed to do this. You were supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to say that. There's a process. There's a set rules that you did not follow, right? But I feel like by the end of the week, you won't have to wait long to hear that you actually got whatever this is that you interviewed for or applied for because they were they were looking for authentic individuals. Because you see in the Three of Cups, you've got three women, but they're all dressed differently. They all have different kinds of hair. So you're you're trying to, I feel like the expectation is you have to be a certain way to get into this company, to get into this role, to get into this government institution, whatever this is. And you went in there and you were completely yourself. Now you're panicking because everyone's talking to you about, no, 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 you don't say that. You, you, didn't, you weren't supposed to say that. You weren't supposed to do that. You're in your head thinking, oh my God, I just made a fool of myself, if that's what it is, right? And you might even be tempted to withdraw something See it through, let it go, let it be, because it's actually what's going to get you that job, that partnership, that opportunity, that promotion, okay? They're looking for different. They're looking for individual. They're looking for authentic, okay? Not what everyone else thinks they're looking for, all right? So that's one scenario that I'm seeing. So let's see, more clarification, more information, Sagittarius. The Hierophant, you have the Seven of Pentacles. With the Nine of Swords, you have the Queen of Swords. With the Three of Cups, you have the Strength card. Under the Ace of Swords, you have Temperance, your energy. Yeah, I feel like someone's in your head telling you just, just BS. They're talking out of their behind. They have no idea what they're saying. Or they're intentionally saying things to you to get you to step aside, to withdraw, to give up on something. But maintain your position because you have victory coming. If you took some, someone to court, or you're thinking of doing that, someone's telling you, oh no, you're never gonna win. Um, you know, the system's corrupt and all that kind of stuff. This is telling you, no, hold your ground and do what you know is right because you will have victory and that's just the bottom line. Okay, is what I'm looking at here. I feel like you're dealing with, you have your own way of doing things and these other, this it's either a person, a group of people. For some of you, they, they genuinely think that what they're saying is true. And they're trying to get you to conform to what they know things are. Does that make sense? But for others, it's someone intentionally putting things in your head to get you to withdraw, to get you to step aside, to get you to just stop pursuing something. But by you maintaining your position is how you get this victory. Does that make sense? So this is not the time to conform to what other people 
believe you should be or shouldn't be or shouldn't shouldn't be doing this is not the time to try to fit in be yourself because that's what whoever you're trying to get to is actually looking for whether it's about a job a business partnership teaming up with someone collaborating with someone starting a relationship with someone and further you're in your head about if you're I feel like you're dealing with someone who's from a different culture for example and you're in your head because you don't know how to do things you want to do things as they're done in their culture right and you're putting so much pressure on yourself even something like you're trying to propose but you're like I don't know what the rules are um, or you you know you want to make a commitment but I don't know what the rules are and you're talking to people and they're telling you all these things and they just freak you out but just take a step back and just bring it back to your connection to this person right you're different you're from different cultures you're from different places you're from you do things differently and that's actually what works for you that's actually what makes your relationship strong so just bring it back to that and do things as you would do things because that's where that's how you have that victory so let's see oracle energy and advice for sagittarius in the week ahead frog spirit clear out the clutter yeah just don't just no. you know what to do you do what you know you need to do okay don't let anyone create clutter in your head with all their different opinions and all their different do this do that don't do this don't do that again some people might mean well some people intentionally don't mean well okay bring it back to yourself you already know what you want to do and that's your strength just follow that Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide, number 32. You already know what to do. Your intuition is already guiding you. You already have the wisdom. You already have the knowledge. Follow that. Don't follow other people. Okay? Don't follow other people's rules. Follow your own rules, your own intuition. Scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you, number 52. Through you. Okay? Okay? Magic works through you, not others. You already know the answer. You already know what to do. You already have the answers. Did I say that? I think I just said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I'm channeling, I tend to just not really be aware of what I'm saying. But um, you already know what to do. You already know how to do whatever you want to do. You just be yourself. Trust yourself. Okay? I can't stress that enough, Sagittarius. That's why you're at the bottom of the deck as well. You already have that clarity. You already have the answers. You already have the wisdom. Follow through. Let that be your strength. That is your strength. Okay? And that's your confirmation. So I will leave that with you. I'm looking forward to your thoughts. Tell me what is going on. But I hope the reading helps you. I hope it gives you the confirmation you were looking for. Okay? Moving on to Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. And Capricorn, if you're skipping ahead, a yes answer. If you're skipping ahead, also watch the intro. Because there's information for you there that you might find useful. What's going on for Capricorn other than the CS answer in the week ahead? Big, big transformations, changing job, changing careers, changing where you live, changing status. Oh, Lord. Okay. What's going on for Capricorn? Someone raising Venus signs in the week ahead. And the situation. <laughs> Is that another flipped one? That was another flipped one. Five of Pentacles. In the challenge, we have the Ten of Cups. In the outcome, we have the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of knight of pentacles monica get it together mercury retrograde guys i swear to god okay so what are we looking at well i feel like you have this goal that you're working towards but it's taking a very long time to get there and you feel like it's never going to happen you're starting to feel very pessimistic about it uh, you're starting to think about giving up. You're starting to think about walking away. And the outcome though with the Four of Pentacles, this is telling you to hold your ground, maintain your position, hang in there. 
okay it is happening it is meant for you things will stabilize things will get to that happily ever after feel comfortable you just kind of have to hang in there okay because you've experienced some sort of a change with that five of pentacles a change to a plan a change change of job change to plan change to environment change to relationship status change to just whatever right and it's something where you felt like you didn't have a say it happened and you said deal with it so you felt like you were left out of the conversation you were left out out of the negotiation you were just told it's happening and just had to deal with it right or you might have even felt like you're pushed aside or left behind but I'm seeing things are still moving in that direction they're just moving very slowly and your advice is to hold your ground maintain your position don't give up on this let's get more information here for Capricorn with the five of Pentacles we have the ace of Pentacles with the ten of cups we have the king of wands with the four of Pentacles we have the wheel of fortune yeah here's that change under the knight of Pentacles we have the king of swords so there might be a difference of opinions here because you have two kings so you might be dealing with someone who's very opinionated or or two people that are very opinionated and you feel like you're caught in the middle but you might have dealt with opposing forces and again you felt like you didn't have a choice you were caught in the middle you didn't get a say And this could have been about getting a job, getting a promotion, getting a raise, buying a place, selling a place, relocating. There has been a change to that plan. Where, because the Five of Pentacles, it could be that, you know, something actually fell through, or it could be that we perceive it as it's never going to happen because it's moving so slowly and the challenge is to believe in what this dream is to power through hold your ground once again with the four pentacles things will get into a flow soon enough or this change is happening I feel like if do you know what it feels like if it doesn't happen this week it'll happen next week because it feels like that nine of wands energy of where we want to give up right before things are about to turn around that's what I'm looking at here okay so this is asking you to just take a deep breath put emotion aside I know it's easier said than done especially when you've been dealing with delay after delay after delay but it wasn't the right time whatever this is it wasn't the right time now is the right time so don't give up Okay, power through, be stubborn with the King of Wands and the King of Swords, be stubborn, don't give up, power through. And you will see this change happen because now is the right time. Okay. And for others of you where there's been a new job or there's been a new something, a new job or a promotion or a change in how you make your money and you're feeling like I don't even know what's happening I don't know anyone here with the ten of cups is a challenge I don't know anyone here I don't know how to how people do things I even feel like the odd one out with the king of wands but this is asking you not to walk away from this because I feel like you're thinking of saying you know what never mind I want to go back to where I was but it's still a very important step forward for you and if you give it a little bit of time you will find your flow you will get into the rhythm with this wheel of fortune right it's just kind of powering through that discomfort of i don't know anyone i don't know how they do things here i feel like i bit off more than i could chew or there's just a lot of chaos there's a lot of tension just power through give it some time and you will get familiar with things you will meet people you'll feel more comfortable you'll feel more at ease it's a good move for you whatever this is that's happening okay so let's see oracle energy and advice for capricorn bottom of the deck we have turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race number 62 that's the knight of pentacles energy slow and steady wins the race as long as you keep moving forward you keep put, what, putting one foot in front of the other you're winning the race okay you're winning the race 
with the turtle I'm also seeing like have a tough shell okay have a tough shell I feel like you might be dealing with some challenging individuals or the the environment is particularly challenging or you know there's just it feels like everything's thrown at you and you have no control over what's happening but this is telling you as long as you put one foot in front of the other you remember where you're going you don't give up you don't walk away you will get there and things will turn around for you very quickly right moth spirit surrender now number 39 so yeah it's just a case of just go with it don't just go with it wheel of fortune don't give up don't walk away don't quit Panther spirit number 44 reclaim your power you will have that sense of stability once again with the four of pentacles and the four of 44 here you will have that sense of stability once again okay but it's a case of remembering that it comes from you it starts with you if you are taking charge of the situation and you're saying you know what I can't control everything I don't know what's gonna happen I can only control what what I do what I say and how I react or respond to things I'm gonna keep putting one foot in front of the other and just see what else happens that's all you have to do I know it's easier said than done and you will experience this shift in energy with that shift in mentality you will experience the shift in energy okay does that make sense and then you will have stability once again you'll start to build from there and you'll be in that flow of the wheel of fortune does that make sense so i hope that helps and i'm going to leave it with you you're going to have to tell me what it's about for you what you're dealing with but whatever's changing it's for the best six of swords yeah whatever's changing you're headed in a much better direction you might not see this now and you might feel like you want to hold on to what is changing and hence the discomfort and the feeling like everything's up in the air and nothing's going right right but just go with it see where that boat is trying to take you at least entertain the possibilities look around put one foot in front of the other give it a little bit more time and before you know it you will be comfortable and you will have that sense of, I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going, things have settled down, the dust is settled, I know what, I know what's going on, I know what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm, I can take comfort from that now, I can settle down now, okay? All right, moving on to Aquarius. Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining us. If you're skipping ahead, also watch the intro because there's some information for you there. So what's going on? What's going on for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in the week ahead. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the week ahead. In the situation, we have the Fool. In the challenge, we have the Seven of Pentacles. In the outcome, we have the Page of Cups. I feel like Temperance, yeah, Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Sagittarius energy what this feels like is you have a tendency you might have a tendency to just be impulsive to just throw caution to the wind and either walk away from something or walk into something you don't want to think about it you've waited long enough you just want to do it right now your challenge seven of Pentacles is whatever this is it just needs a little bit more time not that long not that much your challenge is to just be patient just a little while longer okay seven more days or one more day set something along those lines because we're only looking at a week ahead hold on charlie wants to come up oh come on mm -hmm. um, because in the outcome you do get the news that you've been waiting for you do get it does come in so this is asking you you know don't give up before the miracle happens don't walk away from something that you've put a lot of time and energy you've made a lot of you made a significant investment to whatever this is right but because it was taking so long you started to doubt it question it and now you just want to be done with it right or make some sort of a foolish move it's almost like to self-sabotage right you want to do something without thinking about it so that whatever this is fails and then you can be done with it you have the confirmation it was wrong to begin with you could be done with it it just needs honestly it just needs it's a matter of days it just needs a few more days and you get you'll get that news okay you get the news you'll get the offer let's get more information here for Aquarius 
with the fool we have the hermit with the seven of pentacles we have the nine of swords yeah page of cups we have the four of swords under temperance we have the emperor you just yeah you just want to take charge and it's like i want to be calling the shots if it fails then at least it fails on my terms right whatever this is has gotten you to that point why because it's taken forever it has taken forever it has not been easy there's been a lot of detours there's been a lot of blockages there's been a lot of you trying to figure everything out on your own of you trying to make sense of what was happening of you trying to adapt constantly and it got you to the point where it's like you know what it's too much i want to be done with it so either you want to turn your back and walk away completely or you're trying to do something that realistically would be a foolish move to almost sabotage the situation to then be able to say you know what i knew it was wrong to begin with i knew it was going to fail i have that confirmation now i can walk away from it right there's that kind of energy that i'm seeing but you give it a few more days four of swords it's just a shorter it's a short wait okay that is needed right with the four of swords it's very temporary temporary energy and you're going to get that news you're going to get that clarification you're going to get that confirmation you're going to get that offer whatever this is does that make sense so try to hang in there now this could be linked to the mercury retrograde energy where you would end up doing something that you'd have to go back to anyway by being impulsive So just give it a little while longer, Aquarius. I know it's not ideal and I know you already want to be done with it, but honestly, you've made such a big investment here and it is paying off for you. It just needs a little bit more time. And I feel like it's way longer than what you had expected for it, budgeted for it. We're ready to give it. It, it took way longer than that because of a lot of different detours and a lot of different obstacles and challenges and blockages one thing after another just delay 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 but with the temperance card here it wasn't the right time okay it just wasn't the right time the circumstances wasn't weren't right the person wasn't right the the environment wasn't right the company wasn't right it just wasn't right it wasn't something that if it had happened the way you wanted it to you wouldn't have gotten a payoff on your investment does that make sense it wouldn't have been what it truly can be and should be which is now getting ready to be does that make sense i feel like i'm rambling and this could be something to do with your own business it could be something to do with career your education your personal goals whatever it is really it's saying honestly it just needs just a breath longer okay Let's see, Oracle Energy and Advice for Aquarius for the week ahead. Bottom of the deck, White Raven Spirit, Trust in the Magic, number 66. So this is all about divine timing. It's divine timing. Just trust that there's a reason why it hasn't come together before. There's a reason why it hasn't come together the way you wanted. In the, in the circumstance you wanted, with the person you wanted, with the people you wanted. Trust that there's a reason behind that, right? This is where you put a dream out into the universe. The universe has started to work with you in that co-creation process. And it's where we go that extra mile with the emperor and we try to control how it comes in, the way it comes in. Same thing I'm saying. Um, the, the, the person attached to it, the timing attached to it, right? We're not letting the universe do its part. And we're going to sell ourselves short. We're going to sh shoot ourselves in the foot by doing that, right? So it's that case of do what you can, but also give the universe time to do its part and trust, trust the magic, trust the timing, trust that what they are delivering to you is above and beyond what you could have envisioned for yourself, right? It's so much bigger and so much better. It just, hence why it needed a little bit more time, okay? bobcat spirit life is a mystery number eight yeah just because you can't see things doesn't mean they're not happening just because you can't see something in the forefront doesn't mean there's nothing going on in the background does that make sense and this is what i'm seeing with this energy 
Number nine, brown bear spirit, take time out. So you go from the eight to the nine. There has been progress. There has been progression. There have also been delays. You have seen delays. In the background, though, it was things being rearranged so that when progress happens, it can keep going. There's not going to be any more start and stop. Does that make sense? So you're about to experience some sort of good news, some sort of a turnaround. If it's not this week, it's going to be next week. It literally feels like that energy of you're 99% there. It just needs that 1% for you to be patient, that 1% longer to see this come together. And then when you get to the other side and you look back, you will see the mystery. You will see the reason why it got delayed, it got pushed back. There was that delay, there was that obstacle, there was that detour. You will see. Hindsight will be 2020, trust me. Okay? And everything will make sense. But for now, you just kind of have to trust it and give it a little while longer, whatever this is. It is coming. Okay? It is coming. So I'm going to leave that with you, Aquarius. I hope it helps you. All right? You tell me what it is for you, but. Don't do anything foolish now, <laughs> okay, is the message here for you. Okay. All right, and we're going to move on to Pisces. Hey, Pisces, saving the best for last. Thank you for joining us, and if you're skipping ahead, please make sure to also watch the intro. There's always information for you there that's going to be useful and valuable, so check that out as well. So let's see what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in the week ahead. Ace of Swords, some sort of news, communication, some sort of a legal win. Clarity. <laughs> the lovers almost flipped over. I also saw the Knight of Cups. Unexpected communication? Someone pouring their heart out? I don't know. Let's see. Unexpected offer. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Something's happening. A big change is happening, Pisces, in the week ahead. Let's see. Let's just lay some cards down if I can stop them from jumping. Okay. Okay. What's going on for Pisces? Sun and Rising Venus signs in the week ahead. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, here we go. The situation, the Ace of Swords, the challenge, the Page of Pentacles, the outcome, the Strength card, bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands. So something's happening very quickly. There's communication that just puts things in a different gear. Okay? Speed thing, speeds things up. Right? Unexpected communication fast, out of the blue. There's some sort of an offer attached to it with the Page of Pentacles. But I'm seeing you like taking a breath, holding your ground with the strength card saying, you know what, things are happening too fast. Let me think about it. Give me some time to think about it. Don't push me. Okay. Because you're asking for time with the strength card. You're asking for time. I'm going to get more information here for you in a second. But it feels like something's coming in completely out of the blue. There's a lot of information, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. There's a lot of information thrown your way attached to some sort of an offer. And it's like, come on, Pisces, come on, Pisces, come on. Someone else has had time to process this. Someone else has had time to think this through and reach these conclusions. And they're expecting you to reach those conclusions, the same conclusions, in like five minutes where it took them five months. Does that make sense? Or that's what it feels like. So with the strength card, you're saying, you know what? Let me think about it. I need to think about it. I need to read this. Right? Slow your roll. If you push me, I'm going to say no right now. You're either going to give me time to do this properly, or it's a no from the get-go. You're standing very strong here, Pisces. So let's see. Let's get more information. What is this about for Pisces? Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Judgment, 
strength, the hangman, right? Okay, eight of wands, ten of wands. Blast from the past, Pisces, for some of you. Okay, hi, Titi. Okay, sorry. For some of you, definitely blast from the past energy. Ace of Swords, King of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, but someone who just, they've just got a lot to say. They have a lot to say. There's an offer to resurrect something. There's a, a an offer, there's a promise. And it's genuine with the Page of Pentacles, don't get me wrong. There's a promise to do better. But I feel like they're coming in too strong or slightly forceful. And with the Strength Card and the Hangman, I feel like you've already moved on from this. And you're going to keep something um, where it is. All right, Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands. You've already moved on. You've already released this. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, see? You're happy in your new dynamic, whether you're single or you're with someone else. You're happy, you're content, you're fulfilled. You're done with this. You've already released this burden, this cycle. You've learned what you needed to learn, right? With the Judgment card, and you've released it. And this is come on, someone coming in like a bat out of hell, talking to you, they've got a lot to say, they are genuine, don't get me wrong. Right, with the Page of Pentacles, that's a genuine offer. They might even say, um, could we just at least just be friends and work from there? Or they're trying to be very supportive and do the work however you want them to do the work. However, I feel like with the Strength card, the Hangman, and the Judgment card, you're saying, I, I want to keep this done, right? I don't want to resurrect this. Okay, I don't want to resurrect this. I've already made up my mind for a long time when it comes to this. There is no conversation or negotiation because I'm not in two minds about it. I know exactly where I stand. So you might be saying just no thank you to someone because I don't want this anymore. I've outgrown this. I don't want this anymore. I don't need your pentacle anymore. I might have at one time, it would have been nice to have it at one time, but whatever the situation was, it was a very difficult burden to carry, a very heavy burden to carry, a very difficult situation. And you've already grown from it, you've already learned from it. It made you stronger. And you have genuinely moved on. It's not a case of you had to move on, but your heart was secretly still in it. You've genuinely moved on. You've genu genuinely released it with the hangman. Okay? And I feel like you might be telling this person that. Okay? That's one scenario that I'm seeing. A different scenario is something that has been stuck is coming through. But again, it feels like something you've already given up on. So I don't know if it's to do with work or someone made a promise to you and they just never delivered or they took for freaking ever to deliver and it's like I've already moved on I've figured it out for myself I don't need you anymore no thank you or I'm no longer interested in this thank you I'm happy where I am okay that's that's the kind of the energy that I'm seeing here because this is like with the judgment card the news is coming the offer is coming but it's at a point where to you it's already dead and buried and it genuinely is dead and buried and released. Okay, with the strength card and the hangman, you're whole and complete within yourself with the strength card and the nine of pentacles. You've completely released this. You have no expectations. You were not waiting for this anymore. You've released it because you've learned from it. So even if this is coming, it's not even at the 11th hour. It's like five weeks later. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, or five years later for some. You're like, I'm good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We don't have to have this conversation. I've, I've made my peace with it. I've learned what I needed to learn. I've given myself reassurance. I've, I've given myself whatever I needed you to give me. I've given myself that. It's fine. Don't worry. It's good. 
you carry on. I'm happy where I am. Now, if it's a legal situation that has been delayed and it's taken forever to come together, that is what is coming through. So the paperwork's coming through, the visa's coming through, um, the, the courts are back on it, you're getting that verdict, you're getting that settlement. But again, it's a case of you've kind of given up on it altogether. So it's a nice surprise that it's coming in. It's a nice surprise you're getting that money. It's a nice surprise you're getting that outcome. But you didn't need it anymore. Does that make sense? You weren't waiting for it anymore. That's kind of cool. So let's see. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. Okay, we have one. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces for the week ahead. Okay. I knew there were gonna be there was gonna be one more jumper. You got two jumpers. Bottom of the deck, spider spirit, make your dreams real. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted, number 63. So see, so vultures are scavengers. Something was dead and buried, something was dead and gone. You didn't waste the experience, you've learned from it. But you are done with it. You've released it, number nine, it's complete for you. It's done. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold, number four. You are stable, independent within yourself. Snake spirit, time to heal, number 55. Someone's trying to ask for forgiveness or make you an offer they weren't able to make to you in the past they couldn't make you to you in the past or they made it and they fell through um weren't able to keep their word whatever the case may be this could also be a case of finally getting closure from something because someone's coming back saying what you wanted them to say at some point but they never did and in the end you didn't need them to you have genuinely moved on and healed from it but it could be that case of you know what i didn't need that apology but you know thank you i appreciate it I have I had closure but this is just like extra confirmation or something do you know what I mean but it gives you a sense of peace it gives you a sense of release confirmation that you did the right thing confirmation that you are on the right track confirmation that things happen the way they were supposed to okay so I will leave that with you. You're going to have to tell me what this is for you, but I hope the reading helps you. Um, yeah, good luck. It's it's very good. It's very good energy here because it's a case of I didn't need this, but thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it gives you that final closure. It gives you that final release. It gives you that final confirmation. Something can truly be not just for you, but someone else or, or other people involved. It can really just be released and be done with that chapter in your life, right? So, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. Let's have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next one. All right? Bye for now.